Now at six, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has now launched an internal investigation into a top-ranking sergeant who you see here with Tarek Miner. This comes after the Beast Protect's I-Team exposed racist tweets that local pastors say the officer posted on social media. Since our report yesterday, a new tweet targeting the LGBTQ community has surfaced. News for Jax is asking both Jacksonville Sheriff candidates how they would address any kind of prejudice when it comes to police. News for Jax I-Team investigator Tarek Miner broke the story and joins us now with their answers. Tarek? So I invited both candidates for sheriff, both TK Waters and Lakeisha Burton, for a sit-down interview today to talk about the issue of race and how in some instances it affects the way that police officers interact with the public. TK Waters declined the sit-down interview and issued a written statement instead. Lakeisha Burton agreed to meet me in person and says if police do prove that the gang unit sergeant did indeed make those posts, it's her opinion that he should no longer be able to wear a police uniform. JSO gang unit sergeant Douglas Howell is seen here standing front and center on Monday in support of sheriff's candidate TK Waters in a political event at the Fraternal Order of Police. News for Jax has learned JSO is conducting an internal investigation surrounding at least three social media posts. They include this post where Howell appears to disparage boy and girl scouts at Jacksonville's Pride Day parade, writing, This is absolutely infuriating. These people are sick and demented. Another tweet from the same Twitter handle at DPH underscore 78 writes, America has three problems, marijuana abuse, marijuana abuse, and black people. I was appalled, you know, as a mother, a black woman with three black sons, I thought immediately that is not an, a police officer that I want my sons to encounter. Um, but in reality, the police officer has the right to a fair and impartial investigation to determine if, in fact, there's legitimacy to this complaint. Lakeisha Burton says if she becomes Jacksonville's next sheriff, she'll implement more diversity training and call for more accountability. She's also criticizing TK Waters for not doing an on-camera interview about this story. He's running to be the top cop. I think that he needs to stop sending written correspondences and talk to the people that um, he's wanting um, to be the sheriff over. So I think that um, it's important right now um, for us to address these tough issues head on um, publicly so uh, the voters will know what type of sheriff they're going to get. Waters did issue this statement today to News for Jack's writing. There's no place for racism or discrimination in the JSO, and I will not tolerate it as your next sheriff. While it is important that the sheriff's office complete their investigation into this situation, I find these alleged posts deeply disturbing. They subvert JSO's efforts to improve trust, and they undermine our officers' ability to build bridges throughout Jacksonville. News for Jacks caught up with Sergeant Douglas Howell after TK Waters' campaign event. Here's what he said when I asked him about his Twitter page. Did you tweet this stuff? You're gonna have to go through this PIO. Okay, you see that? There's some passages who said that the stuff that you tweeted was kind of racist or racially insensitive. Okay, this is the last question I'm gonna ask you though. It's the three biggest problems. You said one of them was black people. If we find officers who have these type of ideologies and belief systems, those are officers that should not be wearing this uniform. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office issued a statement about the allegations and the ongoing internal investigation. Sheriff Ivy writing in part, our goal during the process will be to ensure a complete and accurate investigation is conducted with all the available information. I want to ensure that any potential discipline levied for identified violations of policy is as inclusive as possible and that all applicable posts are captured prior to this decision being made. As such, I've reached out to the local media outlets who initially ran the story. I've asked them to provide any information they have in their possession or is received at a later date. Sheriff Ivy also told me in a phone call today that the level of discipline for violating JSO social media policy in the past has ranged from suspension to termination. Kent, Joy.